Well, I'll tell you what I think. Why doesn't he show his birth certificate? I'm saying it's a real possibility, much greater than I thought two or three weeks ago, that he has pulled one of the great cons in the history of politics. There's a real question about the birth certificate. My name's Barack Obama. I was born in Hawaii. These birthers are so gosh darn crazy. There is still a racist undercurrent in the United States. Thanks to people like Donald Trump, we have cast a light on the racist underbelly of America. Now, I know that uh, there's going to be a segment of people for which, no matter what we put out, uh, this issue will not be put to rest. You all know this isn't about the birth certificate. I mean, would a white, conservative, Christian guy in the same position, maybe born in Panama, be questioned? I don't think so. But you know what pisses me off? It's that we're buying right into it. The White House bought into it. The media is perpetuating it, giving he who shall not be named more publicity than ever. I'm very proud of myself. They're crazy. I wish they would go away now. They call him a Marxist. How can anybody prove where they were born? You have a birth certificate. You have a man. You presume that the two are equivalent. If they're not, prove it. That's your turf now. Prove it. Do you have to be at the moment of conception? Do you have to be there watching every single second through the nine months? Do you have to be there from the time he was born to make sure he's not a changeling? Who knows, he might have been exchanged after he was born in the hospital. Socialist. So if Donald Trump really wants to counter accusations that he's racist for going after President Obama on the birth certificate issue, then I think he has to realize that he must hold every single national public official to the same level of scrutiny and standard so that this isn't based on skin color. So if he starts right now and maybe gets his celebrity apprentice team on this, he can get through every single congressman, senator, and governor by, I don't know, Labor Day? Looking forward to it. Now, there is now, no longer, not an inch of room for any sane doubt about the time and the place of Barack Obama's birth or his parentage or the fact that he is a natural born citizen of the United States of America. Some years ago I got my passport from the US Department of State but what they didn't realize was that I didn't send them a birth certificate. Oh no! I sent them a certification of birth registration from Ohio. That's right they didn't realize it, but they issued a passport to me, and I'm actually a car. Suckers! We have to see, is it real? Because it is rather amazing. Kenyan. Nonsense. This whole birth certificate nonsense. I have to disagree with our president on the release of uh, the long-form birth certificate. That issue can't be quelled. It's fueled by lunatics. It's fueled by hate and racism. And it's based upon obscure and obscene theories with no basis in reality. This long form birth certificate will do nothing to curb the hate and the racism. They challenge his identity. I've accomplished something that nobody else has been able to accomplish. Hi, birthers. We need to talk. In order to be president, the Constitution says you must be at least 35 years old, have lived in the United States for at least 27 years, and be a natural citizen. A natural born citizen is someone who was born in the United States or has at least one citizen parent. President Obama meets all those qualifications. His mother was an American citizen and he was born in Hawaii. Get over it! His religion. Big mouth Trump! The media can't. on the TV all the time. Oh, it's a crime. I am really honored 
frankly, to have played such a big role. So, birthers, now that you've been humiliated again by the facts of President Obama's birth and his citizenship, why don't you just take that white sheet off and admit to being racist? We'd all have a lot more respect for you if you at least had that much courage. But being a coward and a racist, that's really pathetic. His patriotism, his birthright. Uh, and I believe that Obama's statement today uh, is nothing but a preemptive strike. Birthers don't care about facts. They just care about hate. And all they're going to do is do anything they can to discredit Barack Obama's presidency. They just can't stand it that somebody who's not one of them worked away from the bottom all the way to the top. But in the end, isn't that really what America's about? The land of opportunity? So where's their patriotism, birthers? His citizenship. For me, this whole birther thing can be paralleled in the movie Blazing Saddles. You got the suave, good-looking black guy who rides into town. You know, he's the new sheriff in town. He freaks out all the old, rich, white folk. And he does some good stuff. He starts cleaning up the town. He still gets the up yours from the old lady. But at the end of the day, he outsmarts everyone, takes care of the criminals, cleans up the town. Dom DeLuise does a song and they all have a pie fight. Even his academics. The word is, the word is according to what I've read, that he was a terrible student when he went to Occidental. He then gets to Columbia. He then gets to Harvard. I heard at Columbia wasn't a very good student. He then gets to Harvard. How do you get into Harvard if you're not a good student? Donald Trump says he knows for sure that President Obama was not born in America. With all the problems going on right now, this is your key issue, Mr. Trump. Then again, what should I expect from a failed businessman with something on his head that most likely doesn't come from this world? The GOP has enough crazies, Donald. Stick to your lousy TV show that most of America does not watch. You are an idiot. One more thing, Donnie. You're fired! His ability to govern. Okay, so this bird there goes into a bar. He sees early Tays. He goes over to her, she looks him up and down and says, Ooh, is that your long form certificate? Or are you just happy to see me? Close up, please, sir, sir. Before Donald Trump, there was Orly Tate's. My name is Orly Tate, okay? And I am a very, very proud American brother. I know for a fact, okay, that Obama is not an American citizen. He was not born in Hawaii. He was born in Kenya, okay? And now, because of that, we have a Negro in the White House. I am so glad we are talking about this issue, okay? And not jobs, education, and healthcare for the American people, okay? Get her off the show. Get out. It's not that You're not going to talk about the birth certificate or the Go home. Anybody You're fired. Go be... play with Donald Trump. It's going to have a close up, please. It's crazy. These racists will never be satisfied. We now have something to organize around and to point out to show that racism is not dead in America and that it still exists. So at least there's that. Thanks, Leffy. Oh, me. Quit giving them attention. It's a disgrace and a huge waste of time. Can you do a close up, close up, close up? That's pretty much it.